Welcome to Smart Science. As the coronavirus outbreak continues, two very contrasting organizations. Coronaviruses are a big family of different viruses. Some of them cause the common cold in people. Others infect animals, including bats, camels, and cattle. But how did SARS-CoV-2, the new coronavirus that causes COVID-19, come into being? Here's what we know about the virus that was first detected in Wuhan, China, in late 2019 and has set off a global pandemic. Where did the coronavirus come from? Experts say SARS-CoV-2 originated in bats. That's also how the coronaviruses behind Middle East Respiratory Syndrome MERS and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome SARS got started. SARS-CoV-2 made the jump to humans at one of Wuhan's open-air wet markets. There where customers buy fresh meat and fish, including animals that are killed on the spot. Some wet markets sell wild or banned species like cobras, wild boars, and raccoon dogs. Crowded conditions can let viruses from different animals swap genes. Sometimes the virus changes so much it can start to infect and spread among people. As of June 2020, there have been 8,525,042 confirmed cases of COVID-19, including 456,973 deaths, reported to WHO. For now America has the biggest case of COVID-19. 4,163,813 confirmed cases, followed by Europe. 2,509,750 confirmed cases, Eastern Mediterranean. 878,428 confirmed cases, Southeast Asia. 560,285 confirmed cases, Africa. 208,535 confirmed cases, Western Pacific. 203,490 confirmed cases, How does coronavirus attack your body? A virus infects your body by entering healthy cells. There, the invader makes copies of itself and multiplies throughout your body. The new coronavirus latches its spiky surface proteins to receptors on healthy cells, especially those in your lungs. Specifically, the viral proteins bust into cells through ACE2 receptors. Once inside, the coronavirus hijacks healthy cells and takes command. Eventually, it kills some of the healthy cells. How does coronavirus move through your body? COVID-19 the illness caused by the coronavirus, starts with droplets from an infected person's cough, sneeze, or breath. They could be in the air or on a surface that you touch before touching your eyes, nose, or mouth. That gives the virus a passage to the mucous membranes in your throat. Within 2-14 to 14 days, your immune system may respond with symptoms including 1. Fever 2. Cough 3. Shortness of breath 4. Trouble breathing 5. Fatigue, 6. Chills, sometimes with shaking, 7. Body aches, 8. Headache, 9. A sore throat, 10. Loss of taste, 11. Loss of smell, 12. Nausea, 13. Diarrhea. The virus moves down your respiratory tract. That's the airway that includes your mouth, nose, throat, and lungs. Your lower airways have more ACE2 receptors than the rest of your respiratory tract. So COVID-19 is more likely to go deeper than viruses like the common cold. Your lungs might become inflamed, making it tough for you to breathe. This can lead to pneumonia, an infection of the tiny air sacs, called alveoli, inside your lungs where your blood exchanges oxygen and carbon dioxide. If your doctor does a CT scan of your chest, they'll probably see shadows or patchy areas called ground glass opacity. For most people, the symptoms end with a cough and a fever. More than 8 in 10 cases are mild. But for some, the infection gets more severe. About 5 to 8 days after symptoms begin, they have shortness of breath, known as dyspnea. Acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS, begins a few days later. The virus can spread from person to person through 1. Close contact with an infectious person, including in the 48 hours before they had symptoms. 2. Contact with droplets from an infected person's cough or sneeze. 3. Touching objects or surfaces, like doorknobs or tables, that have droplets from an infected person, and then touching your mouth or face. COVID-19 is a new disease, so there is no existing immunity in our community. This means that COVID-19 could spread widely and quickly.
who's at high risk to have a COVID-19 virus. Older age. People of any age, even children, can catch COVID-19. But it most commonly affects middle-aged and older adults. The risk of developing dangerous symptoms is higher in people age 65 and older. The highest rate of mortality from the disease is in people age 80 and older. Risks are even higher for older people when they have underlying health conditions. Lung problems, including asthma. COVID-19 targets the lungs, so you're more likely to develop severe symptoms if you have pre-existing lung problems, such as, moderate to severe asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, lung cancer, cystic fibrosis, pulmonary fibrosis. Weakened immune system. A healthy immune system fights the germs that cause disease. But many conditions can weaken your immune system, including cancer treatments, smoking, bone marrow or organ transplants, HIV slash AIDS, prolonged use of prednisone or similar drugs, chronic kidney or liver disease. If you have chronic liver disease or chronic kidney disease, you may be at higher risk of becoming seriously ill with COVID-19. If you're on dialysis for chronic kidney disease, go to every dialysis appointment. Let your doctor know if you feel ill. You may have a weakened immune system if you have chronic kidney disease and are having dialysis. To prevent infection and to slow transmission of COVID-19, do the following. Number 1. Wash your hands regularly with soap and water, or clean them with alcohol-based hand rub. Number 2. Maintain at least 1 meter distance between you and people coughing or sneezing. Number 3. Avoid touching your face. Number 4. Stay home if you feel unwell. Number 5. Refrain from smoking and other activities that weaken the lungs. Number 6. Practice physical distancing by avoiding unnecessary travel and staying away from large groups of people. In our next video, we will find out the possible cure for COVID-19 virus. That's our video for today. See you next time.